Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Natalie and today we are doing another yoga pose tutorial. I am sharing a lot of yoga tutorials on my Instagram page. Um, but I thought it would be fun to do a lot more on YouTube as well because we can do a follow along tutorial and you can learn it with me together. So today we are doing a crow pose or bakasana tutorial. It's a wonderful arm balancing posture and with a little bit of practice you can get it in no time as well. For this pose we do need a little bit of arm and shoulder strength but it's also about hip flexibility and core strength and you might have heard of crow pose and crane pose these two poses are quite similar yet a little bit different because in crane pose we try to extend our arms as much as we can and in crow pose we keep the elbows bent and we will just start with crow pose because it's a little bit easier and crane pose does take a bit more practice and um, strength as well all right so let's get started if you're doing this for the very first time or maybe you feel a bit insecure i highly recommend that you use a pillow or a meditation cushion for the first few times because in crow pose it definitely can happen that you lose the balance and fall over and we really want to avoid that we fall with our face onto the hard floor it's definitely better if we have the pillow or the cushion underneath our face so when you're ready i would say we can get started right away um, before we hop into crow pose it's really important to mention that in any sort of arm balance, we want to um, warm up our wrists beforehand. Because our wrists carry a lot of weight, in this case, most of our body weight, and it's really, really important that we have them warmed up to prevent any injuries. So I like to warm up my wrists. Um, I'm coming into a tabletop position, placing the hands directly underneath the shoulders and the knees come underneath the hips and then I want you to spread your fingers really nice and wide press into your hands and try to keep a neutral spine and then we will draw some circles with our upper body into one direction pressing the mat away from us all the time very good and switch sides circling in the other direction and always remember to breathe slowly and deeply, deeply taking long and deep in and exhales through the nose very good and then we're gonna turn our hands so the fingers are facing the side of the mat and we will rock from right to left and only go as far as your wrists allow you to go so if you feel any sort of pain you know you've gone too far um, this is a general note in yoga you should never feel any sort of pain and you should always be able to breathe slowly and deeply and it's always a good reminder if you feel like you can't breathe anymore then you can come out of pose a little bit and just take a rest it's really important to listen to your body all right and then we're going to turn the hands so your our fingers are facing our thighs and then we will lean back as much as we can a wonderful stretch for our forearms if this is too intense you can also move a little bit closer with your knees And two more breaths like this. Very good. And then release, come back into a neutral tabletop position. And then we will turn the right hand down. So the back of our hand is on the mat. 
and moving your hips a little bit back, stretching the other side of your forearm. Very good. And switch sides. And slowly release, send your hips back, shake out your hands. And you can do any sort of movement that you want. Maybe interlace the fingers, draw some circles. Very good. All right, so now we can hop into our crow pose tutorial and we will plant the palms down, spread your fingers and make sure that your hands are about shoulder width distance apart. And we will come onto our tippy toes and walk your feet closer towards your hands. Make sure that your toes are touching or almost touching and we will bring the knees outside, a little bit wider than the mat. And to start out with, it's um, an easier option to bring the inside of your knees on your forearms rather than bringing your knees all the way into your armpits. Just work on bringing the inside of your knees as high up as you can and just move a little bit forward and back, shifting your weight into your fingertips and back. No need to lift the feet off at this point, just rocking forwards and back and forwards and back. And just getting a feeling of shifting your weight. Very good. And slowly release. If you want to work on the full crow pose, it's important that we bring our knees into our armpits. So really try to lift your hips up, keep your knees bent, bring your knees into your armpits, bend your elbows, and then just move forward and back here as well. The same as we did before, shifting your weight forward into your fingertips. And if you lean forward, try to engage your core as much as you can. As I said, it's not only <laughs> an arm balance and arm strength posture, it also requires hip flexibility and we really need to engage our core when we move forward and back. And slowly release, take a rest, maybe shake out your hands a little bit you can repeat this weight shifting movement as often as you want and as often as you need to. If you feel comfortable in doing that, we will take it a little bit um, further. So one step further, plant the palms down, lift your hips up and bring your knees into your armpits. And then we're going to lean forward and then try to lift one foot off the ground and bring it back down lifting the other foot and back down lift one foot up engaging your core and down and the other one up and down and slowly release shake out your hands again very good and just work on lifting up one foot at a time getting this feeling of shifting your weight more and more into your fingertips and when you feel comfortable doing that we can come into a full crow pose bring the palms down knees into your armpits bend your elbows shift your weight forward engage your core as much as you can keep a long and straight spine and look forward don't try to look down and crunch, really create a long and straight spine, look forward, 
lift one leg, one foot up, and then the other. And hold, breathing deeply. And this is the full crow pose, very good. And then release slowly and gently, shake out your hands. Yay, great job. And if you feel comfortable enough and confident enough, you can also remove the pillow for a moment. And we will try it one more time together, if you're ready. Place the palms down, spread your fingers, hips up, knees into your armpits, and then shift your weight forward and lift your feet up, gazing on one spot at the front, engage your core, engage your legs, breathe deeply and hold for as long as you can and gently release all the way down. Um, actually a little bit out of breath. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I really hope that you liked it and I hope that you can take something with it. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have any other questions and if you want me to do more of these videos, um, I would be really happy to read your feedback. So in any case, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and see you again very soon. Namaste.